Hello, all my fit friends, and welcome back to Wow Body Now. Today is all about the arms and abs with a side of cardio. Let's get going. All right, it's a little bit chilly in my house. I have a sweatshirt on now. I'm ready to get warmed up. I hope you are too. We are gonna start with half jacks. So your feet are tapping out from side to side. Your arms are just those traditional jumping jack arms. Nice. You don't have to do this, but if you wanna add a little bounce in there, you can. We don't wanna to go to full jacks yet. This is the first thing we're doing. Let's ease into the warm up. So go ahead and make sure you are hugging yourself from the inside out. What does that mean? That means pull your belly button in, squeeze those deep abs muscles. Okay, we're gonna march and press our arms overhead. There you go, pick your knees up. Give me a little pelvic tilt. As you pull the knee up, tuck that tailbone under, give me a little mini crunch there. Ooh, my shoulders are already feeling a little bit heavy. <laughs> Good. Go ahead, kick your heels back, pull your elbows back. Nice. It's gonna be a quick warm up. And then we're gonna get into, we're gonna do abs first. And we're supersetting a mat abs exercise with a kind of a cardio plank exercise. Planks, of course, work the core. And we're gonna be moving our arms and legs with it to raise the heart rate some at the same time. Okay, YTAs. Push your hips back, abs in, long spine. Give me a Y. Palms down and the arms go out wide in that T. Fingers up again, or thumbs up again as you pull it back to that A. Thumb up, palms down, thumb up again. Y, T, A. This is the perfect time to practice your abs vacuums. Pull that belly button up, hollow out your belly. Good, so go into a plank. You're gonna walk your feet up, sit into that squat. Hands down, walk your feet back. Up, sit into that nice deep squat. Walk back. Oh, that feels good. I'm starting to feel warmer. I hope you are too. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Ooh, okay, hands behind your head. Give me that crossbody march. There you go. Drawing your chest towards the opposite knee as it comes up. After this, we are going to get down on our mat and get going with our first circuit. After we do our abs circuit, we're gonna do our arm circuit using the dumbbells. Nice. I did not program in a little break for us to have time to get ready. So let me pause that. You just need your mat. If you want a challenge and you wanna have a lighter, moderate dumbbell for some of these moves, you're more than welcome to. I'm just gonna be using my body weight. And let me pull this down here so I can see it better. Sip your water really quick. We're gonna start with single leg V-ups and we're gonna do 30 seconds per side. So, one leg is bent and the foot stays on the floor. The other leg is extended as you sit up. Go ahead and reach your hands towards your foot. Nice. I think I should have already taken off my sweatshirt. So I'm feeling warm and I feel like it's all up in my neck. That's okay. We'll finish this exercise or the super set. Go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, other side. And then I'll take it off. Whew. Good job, everybody. Sit up, reach for your toes. And the good thing about this circuit is it's a no repeat circuit. Once you're done an exercise, you don't have to do it again for the rest of the day. 
So roll on over. We're gonna do strict plank cross country. So shoulders are tracking right over your wrist. Bring one foot up, hop and switch. Try to land your feet right next to your hands. It's just 30 seconds here. Almost there. Keep your belly button pulled in. You got it. Come on. Okay. We have 20 seconds to rest. Except I'm gonna give us a little more so I have time. We'll get going. So, you're gonna hold the crunch, okay? And go ahead and give me a reverse crunch into a leg extension. Bend the knees, reverse crunch, press the knees out. Beginners, maybe your leg extension stays up higher like that. Try to challenge yourself and go lower as long as you can keep your lower back pressed into the mat. Whew. Reverse crunch, kick those legs out. You're holding your head and your shoulders off the mat the whole time. Reverse crunch, leg extension. All right, get into your plank. We are gonna do, we're gonna jump our feet up close and then back out. So knees in and out. Pop your knees in and out. Just 30 seconds. Come on, less than 10 seconds to go. Okay. So we're gonna work with, on one leg and then the other. And the leg is gonna be basically your target, okay? So, you're gonna have your leg right here, okay? And you're gonna crunch and tap the knee, crunch further, tap your heel. Tap your knee, crunch up further, tap your heel. Knee, heel, yes, you have to get up even more to reach your heel. Knee, heel, you got it. Knee, heel, 30 seconds on this side. Then we'll do 30 seconds with the other leg as your target. Keep your belly button pulled in. Knee, heel, switch legs. Knee, heel, nice. Knee, keep your chin tucked, heel. Knee, heel, hoo-hoo-wee. Come on. You're almost there. Don't stop, don't stop. Ooh, three, two, one. Roll on over into your plank. We're gonna do a cross knee run. So you're gonna be pulling the knees in, opposite knee towards opposite arm. So run it just like that. If you need less intense or less impact, you can look like this. If you're really ready to go, actually run those knees. A little twist there as you draw the opposite knee towards the opposite arm. There you go, just 30 seconds. Keep the abs in, keep your gaze forward. Okay, we're gonna do side crunch. So, feet are bent, lay all the way down. Hands behind your head, press your finger pads into the back of your head to support your head and neck. Keep your elbows wide and open. Pick up your head, crunch one side and the other side. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It's a little side bend there. Keep your abs pulled in, come on. Elbows wide. Come on. 
We're gonna hear a little beep. Then we're gonna go up in the two, in the center, side and side, just for a little variety. Two to the center. Now, side, side. Two crunches to the center. One, two, side, side. Let's go. One, two, side, side. Try to keep your head off the mat. One, two to the center now. Side, side. Oh, get into your plank. My abs are burning. Are your abs burning? Okay. I'm gonna be on my forearms now, and we're gonna do plank jacks. Just 30 seconds, let's go. Abs are pulling in, arms are strong. Of course your entire core is strong. Come on, come on. 15 more seconds. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hang in there, three. Two, one, <sighs> okay. <sighs> Russian twist is next. <sighs> so, we're gonna be really strict here. Start with your heels down, knees bent. Lean back, give me that rounded C curve. I want you twisting, keep your arms mostly straight, twist, try to get your fingers to tap the floor. Right? Now, if you want a little bit more, you can lean back and tap your elbow, come up. Tap your elbow back, like you're trying to get the elbow to touch behind you. Tap the elbow behind you if you're ready for that. After this, we're gonna get ready for another plank exercise. Hang in there. Ooh, here's our plank exercise. We're gonna go low to high plank. Okay, you ready? Or high to low plank, we're starting in the high plank. Go to your elbows, and now your hands. Alternate which one goes down first every time. This is a great time to check in and make sure you're still vacuuming out your abs. Okay, we're gonna finish with just 40 minutes of plank hip depth. I'm gonna be on my forearms. I want you to do the same. Beginners, you can be on your knees if you need to. And you're just gonna dip your hips from side to side. And then we're done with our abs portion of the workout for the day. So, twist side and side. Tap your hip on the floor, then bring it up and over. Nice. Come on, just 40 seconds of these. And only 20 more seconds to go. Hoo-wee. Look out in front of you. I caught myself looking down. No, you want your gaze slightly out in front of you on the floor. So your neck is neutral and in alignment with the rest of your spine. That's why. Oh, okay. So, we are gonna grab our weights. Don't have your mat too far away, because we will be doing some plank moves, and you might want it for the plank moves. Grab your dumbbells. Moderate, not too heavy, okay? We are focusing on the arms here. So, not too heavy. Make adjustments as you need to. If you find that you're not challenged enough, you can always grab heavier weight and vice versa. I'm gonna pick up this here. We have about 15 more seconds to go. Let's sip some water. We're gonna start hitting the biceps first. Less than 10 seconds. We're gonna do a full curl and then switch to a hammer curl. Stand up tall, shoulders back, curl, and now hammer curl. Nice. So, 
Let's check in with your posture. Head is tall, high, reaching up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are down and relaxed away from your ears. You are pulling your belly button in, hugging yourself from the inside out, and you have a nice neutral spine. You're not tilting your butt back. You're not tilting it forward. You have a nice neutral pelvis there, right? Okay, we have 20 seconds. We're gonna do shoulder around the world, and I'm actually gonna go even lighter for this because I wanna keep my arms really long, I wanna be really strict, and my traps tend to take over and I tend to shrug my shoulders when I do shoulder stuff, and I wanna totally avoid that. So palms are up, they come up and over and around, and then down and around. I want you to control the momentum down. You know what, this seems too easy. I think I can do it with this. You keep going. I'm making a quick switch. See, that's how it's done, guys. You have the luxury of being able to pause the video too anytime you want, so you don't miss a rep. Nice, slow and controlled on the way down. Bring it up and over. Nice and slow and controlled on the way down. Keep it up, my fit friends. Almost there, almost there. Nice, okay. So we're gonna do a pike press. Now, more advanced people, you can have your hands up on the dumbbells so that you have a more, greater range of motion. You have to bend your arms more to get your head down to the floor. Beginners, you don't have to do that. So, hike your hips up, press your head towards the mat, and back, oh my goodness, I don't know how many I'll be able to do with this more challenging version, but I'm sure gonna try my best. I can always take my hands off the weights if I need to. Press yourself away strong. Exhale as you press away. Less than 10 seconds. One more. Oh, I liked the way that felt. Okay. We're gonna do upright row with an ISO hold. So my fit friends, one arm's going to be held up in that upright row while the other arm rows, right? So this is the starting resting position. One arm goes down and row, other arm goes down and row. I want you to have your chest up abs in. If you catch yourself with your shoulders up in your ears, pull them down away from your ears. We're trying to isolate the rear deltoids, the back of your shoulders. And if you're shrugging your shoulders, you're not isolating them. You're letting the traps take over. We don't want that. We want to hit the rear delts so we have beautifully well-rounded shoulders. If we just do lateral raises and overhead presses, we're just mostly focusing on the front and the medial delts. This is hitting the back of the shoulders. Ah, <sighs> cause you don't wanna be nice and round here and here and then flat in the back, right? No. Okay. We're gonna do a plank row with the triceps kick back. Beginners, you can have them elevated up or you can be on your knees. Everybody, wide stance here. So row and give me a triceps kick back. Row, kick back. Nice. The arm that's supporting your weight as you do the kick back in the row is long and strong, but the elbow is soft. So you don't have to totally lock out your elbow there. Try not to twist as you do it. Try to keep your hips as parallel to the ground as you can keep them. About 10 more seconds, let's go. Ooh, after this, we get a full minute to rest. And then we're gonna do this circuit again. I think I have to do one more on the other side just to make it even. Nice. Okay, so move around in your spot. You have a full minute to rest. We're gonna do this circuit one more time. How you doing? How you feeling? <laughs> I hope you're feeling great. Ha. 
How are you? We're finishing up, we're towards the end of our first week of the 2020 Fit Through the Holidays Challenge. This week and next week, the healthy habit we are really working on ingraining and making a part of our everyday life is eating two fruits and two vegetables every day, at least, you can always eat more, right? So think ahead right now. If you have some more fruits and vegetables to eat today, what are you gonna eat? Plan it out in your head. Here we go, curl and hammer curl. So if you make up your head, your mind ahead of time, if you make a decision ahead of time, it's gonna make it easier to follow through, right? Once you've already decided and you know, oh, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat some corn and broccoli with dinner. When it's dinner time, you're not wasting mental energy and focus trying to figure out, well, what do I wanna eat? No, you already made up your mind. You just go and grab the corn and the broccoli, you cook them up, you put them with your protein, you eat dinner and you got it done, right? Okay, shoulder around the world. I'm just gonna shake it out. So, as you bring your arms up, if you're feeling weak, you're gonna bring your traps into it. I want you to keep your shoulders down and back away from your ears the whole time. Do you see the difference between this and this, right? I want that second one. Shoulders down and back, palms open, nice and slow on the way down. There you go. Abs in, knees are soft. You can do it, come on, yes. Really slow and controlled on the way down. Gravity's trying to force you to just kind of drop and lose control, right? You're fighting gravity as you bring them down and around. Yes. I feel like we're fighting gravity our whole lives, aren't we? <laughs> yes. Oh. But you continue to do resistance-based workouts where you're developing your muscles. And you're gonna give gravity a run for her money. You're gonna stay tight and toned and lifted. It's gonna be awesome. So pike presses are next. I'm gonna try to do that more advanced version. If it gets to be too much, I'm just gonna take my hands off and do the regular one. Hips high, bend your elbows, press your head towards the mat, and then back up. Abs are in, right? Keep it up, keep it up. Okay. Whew. Upright row, and we're gonna have that isometric hold at the top. The resting position is here. Now again, keep your shoulders down and relaxed. Think about how wide you can get your elbows, how far out can you get your elbows. You're gonna feel the rear delts there working. Okay, one arm goes down and up, the other one goes arm. Pull the elbow out wide. It just goes to shoulder level, right? Your elbow doesn't have to go any higher than shoulder level. And you're thinking about how far away can you get that elbow from your body. Oh, I'm shaking. My shoulders are shaking. Almost there. Come on. It's working. Let's go, let's go. One more. Nice. Okay, plank row with the triceps kickback. Again, you modify or you make this easier by having like your weights up on a coffee table or going to your knees. Avoid twisting. Try to keep your hips parallel to the ground the whole time. Take your feet a little bit wider to help you have a little bit easier of a time staying stable. The arm that's supporting you that elbow is soft, right? Pull your belly button in. Hug yourself from the inside out. You're using your abs, your entire core to stabilize, to keep your hips parallel to the ground. Ooh. 
one more. Okay, my fit friends. We have 30 seconds to rest. That's it. Then we're gonna finish up with a two minute burpee challenge. It's gonna be a burpee with spider man crunches on the end of the plank, okay? Just two straight minutes of work. That's it, just two more minutes, that's all I want from you. All right, I'm gonna have my weights to keep it a little bit more challenging, so I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna hop out, bring your elbows or your knees out wide, up and stand. Down, hop back, knee, knee to the outside. Hop in and stand. Of course, beginners, you can be walking out and in. You can be walking out and in, you don't have to hop. If you need it easier, I want you to put your hands down on a coffee table so you're not going so low to the ground. Two minutes, we're pacing ourselves, right? But I'm gonna speed up a little bit. I think I can handle it. We'll see. Keep it up, keep it up. One minute done. One more to go. Keep it up, keep it up. I am breathing hard. My shoulders especially are feeling this as I hold myself in the plank there. As you get gassed, the first thing that's probably gonna go is that abs vacuum. It doesn't have to be 100% abs vacuum, but I just want you thinking about keeping that belly button in tight the whole time, okay? Five more seconds, guys. Okay, we made it. Go ahead, we're starting the cool down. I want you to put your weights away and then I just want you walking around in your spot. Walking around, slowing down your breathing, allowing time for your heart rate to come down some. Open up your mat. You know, that 30 seconds of walking around is almost done. <laughs> okay. Wrap one arm around your back. If you can, twist it and turn it, right? Pull your shoulder down away. Take your other arm over. I'm sorry, your other ear over to your other shoulder. That should feel really good in the neck and in the shoulder. I'm using my other hand to kind of close this hand. That feels good. Bring your head up. Same thing, other side. So, as you wrap that arm around, pull that shoulder back away from your ear, and then drop your head over to the other shoulder. That feels really good in the neck and the shoulder, doesn't it? I think it does anyway. What are we doing next? I do believe we're gonna get down on the mat and do a scorpion stretch next. Bring the head up. Yes, go ahead down on your mat. Take your arms wide. And then you're resting your weight on this shoulder and you feel that stretch in the arm there. And then you're also opening up your quads as you take that leg over. 30 seconds on this side. Just hold it. Breathe. Take this time to, again, to thank your body for carrying you through this workout. Switch sides, same thing. Other side. Ooh. Be grateful for your body. 
no matter what state it's in right now, no matter what shape you're in right now, no matter how you're personally feeling physically right now, be grateful for this body of yours. It's a gift. It carried you here into the workout, which is an awesome thing in and of itself. Okay, what's next? Okay, so I actually am gonna pause this. We're gonna do an extended child's pose. So you're gonna have your hands elevated up on a chair or your bench there, okay? And this allows you a little bit more range of motion to dip yourself down and you're gonna feel it go even further into your armpits. <sighs> Sit your hips back, drop your head and your chest down towards the floor. Reach your fingers up further up on that bench or that chair. Oh, really opening up through the chest and the arms there. <sighs> nice and easy. Bring it on up and give me those virtual high fives, everybody. All right, we made it through our first full week of workouts. On Sunday, I will be posting our stretch for the week, right? But I want you checking in later today, tomorrow and Sunday on Instagram. Check in there. Make sure you're tagging me in all the posts that you're sharing about the challenge. Make sure you're hashtagging 2020 FTTH and hashtag same year better me, right? So that we could all follow those hashtags and motivate each other. And with that, I'm gonna let you go. But of course, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye,